Rock and roll is not always pretty. Members don't always get along. We talked to Ian Anderson of Jethro Tull all about that. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. I've been backstage with bands where I look around and I could tell that some of these members aren't getting along together or else they kind of just tolerate each other or else they're sick of talking to each other or arguing with each other. I talked to Ian Anderson all about that. I don't know why rock and roll fans don't get this with your relationship with Martin that you said personally you were never that close. Musically you were, but I don't know why fans can't seem to understand. These are five, seven, four, three different, whatever it is in a band touring together. Everyone thinks that somehow you're singing Kumbaya together and you, you have everything in common when that's usually not the case. Well, it's not the case much of the time, I think, because especially on tour, you know, you do need your privacy. You do need your quiet moments. And, you know, Martin has always been someone who didn't, you know, and it wasn't always, but once in a while, you know, he would kind of get together and join people for dinner or, or a drink or whatever it might be. But much of the time, he just preferred to be on his own. And, and much of the time, I too prefer to be on my own. But I make a point of always, you know, every night I make a point of gathering with the band and crew, you know, for a, a quick beer before we leave the venue. And um, you know, it seems to me that's quite an important thing to do because there is a little moment of unity. And sometimes, you know, after a show, there are people who are a little frustrated or disappointed in their performance or or have had technical problems that have become a, a bit of a dampener on their enjoyment. And so, in a way, you know, that little moment is a good way of just getting people in a in a in a happy place together again. But you know, apart from a a grumpy good morning that everybody will utter to no one in particular when they get into the van in the morning to go to the airport at 7 a.m. or something, you know, it's uh, there's other times when you can be pretty sure that, that people don't want to immerse themselves in group conversation. They just want to tune out and pull their hats over their eyes and try and sleep for the next two hours until they they feel us lurch to a stop um, at the entrance to the check-in area. And this concludes our series on Ian Anderson. I want to thank him for spending almost an hour with me. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.